Sharks. I'm Chris Seary. And I'm Lisa Seary, and we're from Wallingford, Connecticut. And we are the founders of Santa's Enchanted Mailbox. Here today, seeking an investment of $150,000 in exchange for 30% equity in our business. Writing letters to Santa is a tradition as old as St. Nick himself. But with the rising cost of postage, Santa has chosen our family to create an exciting and innovative way to send your letters to the North Pole. With Santa's Enchanted Mailbox, children everywhere can now send their letters, lists, drawings, and communicate with Santa and his elves all season long with real magic happening right before your eyes. Allow us to demonstrate how our product works. Simply insert the magical envelope into Santa's Enchanted Mailbox. Close the door, raise the flag, listen to the enchanted sounds and chimes. <laughs> and when the mailbox is reopened, your letter is gone, magically. Oh, serious? We still wait in the hole. But sharks, don't just take our word for how much fun this new family Christmas tradition is. Take a look at some of the excitement from children around the world. <laughs> on Santa's nice list. Come join our family in spreading Christmas joy around the world. All right, so I I I, lo I really love this idea. Uh, this this is this is cool. Assuming it's not too expensive uh, to buy. Um, hopefully they have some sales, you know, already. And I I you know the only thing though, I I. I like I know my three year old, almost four year old, would would go crazy over this. I just don't know if my five, soon to be six year old, would would buy in. I'm I'm really curious that they if they kind of show some of the magic here and how how this works. I I kind of hope they don't because this is a family show, but I kind of hope they do at the same time come up with this idea this is a family business my wife and i we've been married 12 years yesterday yeah. Woo. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you guys very much um when our oldest who's now 10 was three years old we used to put out this cardboard decorative flimsy mailbox as a decoration and we said wouldn't it be cool if we could bring real magic right in front of them not something left to the imagination so my stepfather-in-law is a retired engineer he helped create the prototype then we secured two granted utility patents we trademarked the name and then what again? How do we go about bringing this to the masses? So we decided to take a licensing route. Lisa and I started writing anybody that wanted to hear our story. I pitched to anybody who would take a meeting with me to learn more about the product. And we found a wholesale Christmas-based company and signed a three-year licensing agreement. Our licensing agreement just came to an end. This is our first year out on our own. And, and here we are. Here we are today. How much did they sell? So our first year, we did $120,000 in sales. Our second year, we were pretty blown away. A big box retailer placed an order for $1.7 million. Ooh. Whoa, wow. And in our third year, 2020, a lot of obstacles happened. Uh, on a personal note, so my wife owns a hair salon. Yep. Talk a little bit about uh, that. With COVID, we were forced to shut down, and the schools were forced to shut down. So uh, overnight, we became a single income family. And so not having my income pitching into our home life, we decided to go a little bit more conservative on spend, and that kind of changed our route of where we were going with the mailbox. Did it sell through at the big box retailer? We were told it underperformed to their expectations. At the same time, they dropped the price, and then they did start to sell. How much did you make off of the licensing agreement? Like, what percentage? In our first year, we, we did 4% until we owned the cost of the mold. Uh, in the second year, it went up to 6% and remained at 6% in our third year. And did they manufacture this or did they you? They did. So we're actually currently utilizing their manufacturer still, but we're paying a markup that comes with that. You're buying direct to the factory, but you're going to have to pay a markup on that? We're paying a markup to our former licensing partner to utilize the manufacturer. So you're using their factory overseas, but they made you pay for the molds. What did the molds cost? We don't know the exact total, but it was close to fifteen to 30000 We had two different molds made. Wow. Yeah. Now, and, this and is a you, lesson about licensing. This is a huge yeah. wow. lesson. Are you well, hearing it, that, Kevin? It's a well, huge, actually, I it's wouldn't a have done huge, it that way. Licensing is okay, but it's a huge lesson on the deal that you did. Yeah. Yes. Right? This was brand new to us. And maybe there were some things that we still scratch our head about. No, but I mean, listen, don't ever feel bad. Way. 
the, to me, the best lessons in life are your mistakes. So let's talk about it. All, right. All right. Before they go any further, I, um, that I mean, that that's a shame that it did that it underperformed. I don't. I mean, I know in the preview video, I I think I saw it as high as fifty dollars. Uh, maybe it was on sale. We'll, we'll check out their website at the end and, and see what they're selling for at the moment, but. Uh, it does, you know, fifty dollars. That, that if if that was still the case back then, I could definitely see that giving people pause uh, to buying a. You know, I, I, I guess it really comes down to how many letters are you going to be sending to to Santa. I almost feel like okay, if I could buy one of these and then charge every family that comes to, you know, that comes to say pictures with Santa, uh, and and you you know for a dollar you pop your Pop your your letter in and goes off to Santa, <laughs> or if you maybe not a dollar, but just adding it as a pictures with Santa kind of thing, it could it could bring uh, you know especially if you did it in a um, maybe a more commercialized manner like a you know commercialized kind of product, um, then you could you know add, have it as an extra bonus, but just as easily you could have it you know go into a box and you get Santa's over there. He's going to take it back with him to the North pole. So uh, yeah, I, what I love as much as le I love getting letters or uh, sending letters to Santa's, I love receiving comments down below. So we're going to check out one of your comments from down below uh, at the end of this video, check out their website and uh, Chris and uh, Elisa, I, or Elise, Elisa, Elise, uh, I apologize. I would love to have you guys come on the show for an interview and talk about your Shark Tank experience. Cost of this. Sure. How much does it cost to make so, and what do you sell it yeah, for? Right now, they're at $17.25 all in to get them here to the States. We're selling them for $49.99 on our website. Mm. We know that we have to drive down the cost of manufacturing. You said they brought the price down and started to perform. I believe you said that, correct? Correct. Um, yeah, exactly. And what was the magic price point that they started to perform at? $24.99. $24.99. $24.99. Yeah. And you're bringing mm -hmm. it in right now at $17. Correct. This mailbox is a, it's a, it's a decorative mailbox and people were walking past it. We had no way to get the story out what it does and there was no marketing budget behind it so we're really looking for strategic partners that can help market this i don't like seasonality in retail i see this as a challenge just to go direct to consumer it works there's magic i get it but this was not for me i'm out mm. guys i'm kind of in the same boat i mean there's a lot of complexities for a simple business your relationship with your former licensee your manufacturing relationship particularly trying to get something done for this christmas right yeah. So, I mean, that's just a, a lot. That's a big hill to climb. Yep. So for those reasons, I'm out. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. That's, think... that's got to stink because I, I feel like Mark would, you know, deep down want to be invested in something uh, like, you know, like this. Uh, but there's, I mean, it's just so many hurdles to, to overcome that I, I definitely understand. And um I, I appreciate his upfronted upfrontness about the fact that, like, yeah, like the, there's these challenges, and while Mark probably could solve them, he just isn't willing to put his time and effort in that. And I think that goes, you know, that that speaks very deeply to me, uh, especially as we as this channel has grown and more and more people are emailing me these different opportunities to get involved and do this and that. Um, I, you know, I have to pick and choose what I'm able to, to get involved with. Um, not just what I feel super, you know, deep about, but what, you know, the time investment and, uh, and, and all that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. It is, it is tough. Cause it's a, it's a, that's definitely a neat product. My challenge is that, um, you got to get that price down to put it in retail yep. and yep. this is a product that has to be demonstrable and it's very hard. It doesn't have what we call hanger appeal because you don't even realize all the great things it does when you're walking by. So I that know, means yeah. you have to be converting heavy on yep. social media and right. online. And I don't see it there just yet. Um, so I'm out. All right. Thank, thank you. Very much. Yeah. I mean, just looking at it, I would think that it's just a decorative, you know, mailbox that's, that's selling for a, a pretty high price uh, at $50. That's, that's tough. That's real tough. But, you know, if they keep it, um, you know, if they keep it online, direct to consumer, they if they can get thirty to thirty five dollars, maybe plus a, a few bucks for shipping and handling, or or for, for, you know, it may be free shipping. But if they could do that, 
you know, they might be able to convert a lot better because they can demonstrate it and have a higher rate of return. Um, you know, I, and, and that goes, that speaks to, you know, knowing your avatar and putting it in a big box retailer where it's just sitting there on the shelf. It's not demonstrating itself is really tough. Um, so I, I, I tend to think that, it, you know, it would, it would really be a good idea for them to, to, to play up the social media aspect, get in video and, 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 uh, the reactions, I mean, the reactions are priceless. So, uh, making sure that that is understood. I mean, I, with that said, like if you were in, I've seen products that have like TV, you know, you could get a TV, but it's just like, then you're just scaling up the part of the problem there. So yeah, the, I mean, really at the end of the day, they got to get that cost down. Uh, if they want that $50 price point, uh, you know, 10 to 10 to 15, you know, really 10, $10, uh, would, would probably get them there. But I have five seasonal businesses in the last three or four years. And what's interesting to me is those entrepreneurs, I believe, work harder than any of my other entrepreneurs because I have to push in a very short window. Mm -hmm. But I think your price is way too high. Mm -hmm. And yet you're smart people, you're so dedicated. I think you're gonna find something else to do. Okay. I don't think this thing is gonna fly. I'm out. But wait, but wait. The and queen of one. plastic is still here. Yep. <laughs> We came here today wanting to walk out of here with a deal with the right partner. I mean, we'd be willing to move the equity to where it's beneficial for the amount of work that we need. First of all, I think it's cute as can be. I really do. And I think oh. kids will love it. It's just spot on to me. So I think the product is a hero. My problem here is I do think it's too high. And it sounds like what's going on with the factory, that's really difficult once you don't have control of it. Yep. Right? Very hard. Yes. The other thing that I worry about with this is what you could get that down to. Yep. If you had told me what this could cost, what we could do mm. with it, that would have turned it for me. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. yeah. And so, unfortunately, because I don't know, I have to be out. Oh, that's a shame. Guys, th thank, thank you. you. So, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Congrats, guys. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. I'm almost certain they we probably came sold into out this tonight. Very inexperienced as entrepreneurs. We're disappointed that we didn't land the deal, but we're also grateful for the opportunity and the words of wisdom from five really successful people. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Absolutely, absolutely. So you know, I let's check out their website here. Uh, Chris uh, and Elisa, I would love to have you come on the show uh, and for an interview to talk about your Shark Tank experience. So, uh, you know, you put your letter in, raise the flag, it plays the jingle, you open it up, and it's magically gone. It's, I'm just, yeah, it's magically gone. Uh, so, I, 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 I love it. So, $39.99, Shark Tank premiere price. 40 bucks is, is still, it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I, I, I can't say that I would, I don't know. $40 is a lot to part with. Um, I, oh, there you go. You got letters to Santa set of five. So you can, uh, that, that part's sold out. They haven't sold out of the mailboxes yet, which either they have a lot of them, hopefully, uh, or they haven't sold, uh, nearly enough yet. Uh, even though the show has aired on the East Coast. Twitter, we got 10 followers on Twitter. They just have the website. That was in 2017 they joined. Wow. Yeah, well, I guess three years. Yeah, so I, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, 3.5 hours till showtime. Got some engagement. 12,000 uh, people like it on Facebook. I definitely feel like Facebook is, uh, is, is, is a good path for them between that and Instagram. Uh, but uh, not too much in the way of, wow. So I feel like this should get more engagement, like these, these reaction videos. Um, definitely move over L for real Christmas magic, put your letter in to Santa and close it up and make it happen. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm still curious as to how, to how this, I, I how this works. I guess it, it, maybe it flips all the way over. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, how how you think it works? Seven thousand views on the YouTube with one of their promo videos. Instagram seventy eight, uh, seven eighty seven followers. You know, 
I mean, look, fa- I love faces, uh, seeing faces, and apparently so do other people. The uh, the the single you know year long uh, or year you know single month out of the year that's really you know the big push is is definitely something to to that you have to overcome, uh, and and it makes it hard. So yeah, here you go. Twenty four is one hundred and five weeks ago. Twenty four ninety seven, and they started flying off the shelves avail uh at that point and on amazon so th- see they have other decorative ones that are like that but th- none of them make it disappear uh in the same kind of manner as the enchanted mailbox does and their list price is 80 dollars whoo um and it right now it may arrive before christmas if i were to order it right now plays music four double a batteries insert letter yeah uh we got 145 reviews best thing ever so kids i mean kids i'm sure love it i it's it seems really cool um anyway Chris, Elisa, I would love to have you here on the show. Just drop a comment down below. Like Caitlin here said, I like this product. I'm surprised Lori didn't snatch the deal. While I, it's still young, I got a feeling these guys are going to blow. Anyone who sells their house uh, for a business is motivated and determined. Proud of them. Great comment, uh, commentating, Joe. I'm not an entrepreneur and in no means, but I love the education these videos bring to me and the joy I get from watching these daily. So thanks for that, Joe. Thank you so much, Caitlin. I greatly appreciate you watching. And I think it's so important. You know, the, the super in Super Joe Pardo is all about bringing the super out of you. So it's more than just learning about entrepreneurship and business. It's also helping educate you to be the best version, the super version of yourself, as well as as well as enabling you to bring that out of other people and educating you to help better your career wherever you are because you'll have more business sense to understand why decisions are made and help you make those decisions in that business that you operate within. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in one of these two videos. Happy holidays from this last video of this year's Shark Tank holiday. Uh, episode. (laughs) Take care.